Hey everybody, I'm Justin from Bittner Build, and today we're going to be talking about laser levels. They have come a long way since the first one I bought 15 years ago that I had to use double-sided sticky tape and thumbtacks to put it up on a wall. Uh, today's laser levels are multifunction. They can have up to four different lasers going in different directions. They're really great. And while most pros know the value of these tools, um, maybe a lot of consumers don't just because you haven't ever gotten your hands on one of these. So I wanted to do a video just for that where I show 20 different ways that I can use this type of product to show how valuable it could be in your toolbox. Now, my friends over at Dovo gave me this awesome one to play with today, and they also gave me a second one to give away to you, my viewers, for free. So I'm having a little giveaway contest in this video. I'm moving on up. I'm starting to give away pricey stuff now, so awesome. Um, so stay tuned in the video, and I will give you all the requirements later on in the video on what you need to do to enter to win this, and I'll pick a winner in like five days. So. Uh, you have a pretty good chance of winning if you uh, follow the instructions. So let's get into it and see what laser levels can do today on Bittnerville. Installing French cleats. During construction, making sure that your walls are aligned and plumb. It's super reliable for doing fencing. When I built this fence, I used it to make sure every single one of my fence posts were in line with each other. Making sure doors and windows are perfectly plumb and aligned. When installing a drop ceiling in your basement, a laser level is the number one tool to use to make sure that you're maintaining the correct height all the way around the room. Measuring your floor height or leveling your floor. One great accessory for this is the micro adjustment jack. You can make teeny tiny little adjustments with this thing. This is cool. Mounting cabinets. Installing floating shelves. Masonry applications. Installing the balusters on your stairs to make sure that they're perfectly vertical. When installing recessed lighting, making sure that they're perfectly aligned with each other with very minimal measuring. Installing electrical boxes at the exact same height all the way around the room. Surveys, because this green laser can go several hundred feet indoors or outdoors. Here's a cool tip using the neodymium magnets on this mounting plate. If you have metal beading in your wall, you can go ahead and just attach it just like that. That makes it super easy for installing crown molding and coffered ceilings. Installing chair rails and wainscoting. Angling your laser for water drainage and irrigation purposes. I have wetlands right next to me, so keeping the water away is very important. Making sure that your plumbing is at the correct slope. Hanging photos and artwork. All sorts of tile work. I want to install wire shelving without a laser. It makes it so easy. You just have to screw in each one of the holders, click in the shelf, and you're all done. There's so many more things you can do with a laser level, but you know, we gotta keep this video realistic, right? So onto Dovo Laser. Uh, they provided the laser for this video. And before I accepted it, I had some questions. Um, I purchased a big box, big name laser level, a 3D laser when I built this house uh, because I was doing a lot to it, obviously. And I really found the value in that type of tool. Now, after a year and a half, it started having issues. And when I contacted warranty support, I was told that I would have to pay to have it repaired. And that's when I found out with lasers, with most of these companies, while a lot of them will have like lifetime warranties and extended warranties, lasers, they have very limited warranties. If you check out your different brands, they etch it out because these are sensitive tools. So um, that was a surprise to me. So when Dovo reached out to me, I said, what's your warranty? So they have five years on their laser accuracy that they will repair or replace. Um, and then they have two years, just general overall warranty that they'll repair or replace. Um, so that to me was very good. If you have a good warranty behind your product, that is you know, what we're looking for. That's the reason why a lot of us buy big name brand tools is because um, while every brand has duds, uh, most likely they're going to have less duds in a tool and they will stand behind their product. Um, so this company only makes lasers and they have a good warranty. So that's why I was like, all right, yeah, I'd love to check this out. 
So this is the Dovo K4360G. It comes in this nice Kaizen foamed case to protect it. Now the K4 means four lasers. So top, bottom, left, and right. It has a USB charging port on the side. And uh, overall it has very durable, nice construction. It has the threaded tripod port on the bottom. And um, I really am impressed with it for the price. Right now it's selling for 150 on Amazon. Um, that is half to a third of what the majority of this gauge of laser is selling for. So that's amazing. It comes with two rechargeable batteries. One of them's in the unit, has the charger for that. USB-C port or cable. Uh, you can either directly charge or you can charge the uh, charging adapter. Comes with a really nice remote that controls horizontal and vertical. It's really heavy and chrome lined. I'm impressed with the quality of the remote that they did. Uh, charging brick. Uh, manual and this is a visibility plate so if you're going over a very large distance you can put this and it will make the laser show up better uh, it has its own little stand-up tripod it has a magnet and you can also screw into this hole to hold it in place this is super cool this is a jack plate so you just do this and it scissors up uh, I'm going to be using this for all sorts of stuff other than the laser, uh, but of course with the laser. But uh, this thing is very cool. So you can place your laser on the floor with this and raise it gently just to get it to the exact right height. And then of course the main bracket that you use with this. Now this could just be directly attached to a tripod or this will hold it on to many different surfaces. So the laser sits right here and then you have fine tune adjustments with this wheel and you can tighten it right here so that uh, it won't move after you get it into place. These two screws in the back are to act like a clamp. So you can put a piece of wood in on here, side of a table or something, it'll clamp down. The, uh, this is for a nail. So if you just have a nail on the wall, this is a larger threaded tripod mount if you need to use it for that. But really what's gonna get used the most is this neodymium array. And I showed it earlier in the video how I was able to just attach this thing to corner bead in a wall that's already constructed. And these are really strong magnets. So this whole setup, I have to say, is definitely on par with the quality of the other name brand laser that I purchased. Um, and it is at a fraction of the price. So um, I personally really am impressed by this. Since this is a green laser, even with all the lights on in my house, I'm able to project it around my dining room, my living room, and all the way through my kitchen while it's still highly visible even in the back corner. A couple things on this laser. So first thing to understand is how the lasers are situated inside this unit. They're on pillars, cylinders, and the lasers are on top. So when you're in the locked position, it's locked and it will move with the laser as you move the unit. Uh, if you put it into the auto leveling mode, now it becomes like a pendulum and it swings freely inside its space until it finds its plumb level position. This creates a thing that you need to understand for how to take care of your machine. If you were to suddenly move this, drop it, or just even moving it around during transport, that pendulum is gonna whack the inside of this unit. And over time, you might end up breaking it because, or, or sending it out of alignment because it keeps hitting the side over here and damaging itself. So that's most likely what happened to the unit that I owned. Um, I did not take care of it as I should. So what my recommendation for you is, is that you keep it in the lock position and when you have it in place to use it, then you unlock the pendulum, do all of your measurements, lock it again, which turns it off. So always think about turning it off by hitting the lock lever. That's a good way to think about it. And then you're free to move it around as much as you want. Um, so I can not worry about dropping this on my table and I slightly worry about it, but I'm not. That's concrete. No damage. The, uh, the units are very ruggedly constructed, so I'm not worried about it. Um, I don't even see any scuffs or anything from doing that. So as long as you keep this locked, it's going to be okay. All right. So make sure we focus on that. Now for its functions, 
if we have it in manual mode, which means all the pillars are locked into place, I just hold the power button and I can turn on as many lasers as I want, whatever the, the job calls for. And then I can put it on a tripod and turn it diagonal. So that's what a manual mode is for on this, is not a perfectly plumb horizontal or vertical line, but some other degree. Um, in order to do that, you can't use the auto leveling feature. So you lock it into place and then you can move it however you want to. The other way to do it is with auto level, which is the really cool thing about these guys, because most of the time we're most likely doing a horizontal or a vertical line, right? And so when I turn it on by unlocking it, I can then turn on more lasers if I want to. And if, and I'll do a close up of this, uh, if I move it a little bit, you'll notice the laser is wiggling for a couple seconds while the pendulum finds its plumb spot. Now, if I were to move this off of plumb, it will still correct itself. So it's still perfect until I get to here. It's yelling at me saying, hey, you have exceeded the degree to which I can adjust to make it plumb and level. So it will yell at me and it will blink, right? So cool feature, which is nice. And then to turn it off, you just put it back in the locked position. So like I said, just get used to doing the lock on and off as your on and off switch. Um, this guy is really great. I did the whole auto check feature beforehand where I measured out to make sure that this was perfectly level and it was right out of the box. And so for this price point of literally a third or more of some of these other big box levels, um, I'm very impressed with it. Um, this company only makes laser levels. This is what they do and they're really trying hard to put out a quality product that they give nice cases with. I think the Max version even comes with a hard case. Um, and so I'm very happy that I got to show this in the video today. Giveaway time. So Dovo was awesome enough to give me another one of their lasers to give away. This was the K4 that I showed in the video. They're giving away a K3, which means it has three lasers instead of four. Still awesome unit. It's 50% off right now on Amazon up until July 9th, 2023. So I'm putting this one out the first week of July. So if you're interested, it's at an awesome price on Amazon right now, but you're coming here for the free one, aren't you? And so what I need you to do in order to possibly win this guy, you need to be a subscriber, you need to like the video, and then down in the comments, tell me how you would use this laser if you were to win it. Or if you have an awesome use that I was not able to show during this video, please put that down there as well for your comment. And I will randomly select somebody from there and let you know and ship you out a brand new Dovo laser level. So I hope that you were able to get some good content from this. Maybe if you haven't been able to use one of these before, you saw some cool uses that maybe might inspire you to get one of these laser levels in the future because they really are handy tools. And of course, stay safe in the shop. I will see you in the next video.